read the title right, ladies and gentlemen. We are painting my Sparco helmet. Now, you're probably sitting there saying to yourself, Carl, what the fuck do you know about painting a helmet? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Not a goddamn thing. But that's okay, because I'm going to show you guys my experience of painting my helmet on my own for the very first time never doing this before so that you guys can sit there and say, all right, Carl did this, so I'm not going to do that. But I think I have a pretty good understanding. It's all about the prep work. I'm going to show you guys every step that I take to paint this helmet. Um, it's a pretty nice day out. I wasn't actually planning on doing this, but I got some time. I'm off work early, so, so I'm going to paint the helmet. I'm going to take the next couple days and do it, do it right and show you guys the process. So you're probably saying to yourself, what am I going to use to paint? So I went with something other than just a random rattle spray can. I went with Montana cans. I've heard it's really good. So for what I'm trying to do, I thought it'd be a great idea to go with some quality paint for a quality helmet so I can get hopefully a quality paint job from a decent guy but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off I'm gonna sand the helmet down um, make it really smooth so that my primer can sit on the helmet really well this is a plastic primer uh, for the helmet so I'm gonna sand it down with some 320 grit which I know is pretty high I know 320 grit's pretty high but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand it down with a 320 a little bit just really rough it up then I'll clean it up and smooth it and I have some 800 sandpaper uh, to really smooth it out and just give it a really smooth finish, nice smooth surface. Um, so there's not huge dips or divots or anything like that you can see. Um, normally primer fills that in anyway, but I want it to just be a super smooth surface. So that's what I'm gonna do first. So we got some plastic primer here. Then we got a metallic red. So I'm going for a whole metallic red on the helmet. So the base coat, the base color is just metallic red throughout the entire uh, helmet. And then I have gold and I have white to do a couple like stripes or lines down the helmet. And I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do it. And then I got some clear coat here. That's pretty much it. But yeah, so that's pretty much that. So I'm gonna get the helmet sanded down. I'm gonna show you guys what I do and what I think would be uh, a good look for it or something like that. And I'll show you guys what I do there. So I'm gonna start off with the 320, then I'm gonna move to the 800 and I'll come back. Okay, just a quick update. I've been sanding. I threw on some gloves so that as I touch the helmet and stuff like that, as you can see, this is before I put the gloves on and I'll go back over that as well. Um, but I put on gloves so that when I do touch the helmet, there's no oil transfer from my fingers onto the helmet to keep like contaminants out and away um, from the paint, the surface and all that. So I'm gonna keep going here. I've been sanding up, make sure I get all the vents and the nooks and crannies even up under the vent in here just a little bit you know i'm gonna keep going all the way around come across the chin across the head right here make sure we get inside this vent here this vent this vent i'm just gonna keep going all the way around but it's going pretty good so i'm gonna do that go over it a little bit and then i'll hit it with a 800 grit and then we will uh come back to this Okay, I took my other glove off, but I don't want to touch it. But as you guys can see, right here, it's all like this. Well, I mean, I'm gonna wipe it down anyway, because I'm gonna resand it. But you can see it's super duper hazy. And that's what you want, because that's how you know you've touched it all up. But then what you want to do is you want to take some alcohol, wipe it down, because then you'll see it all haze up again. And then you'll be able to see spots that you need to go back and retouch. So I'm gonna wipe it down, and then I'm gonna see where I need to like, touch up or anything like that, and then go from there. All right, so I wanted to really give you guys an example. So if you see right here, you can see it's hazy. You can see it's sanded. But if you look right there, you can see on it that it is just a little bit. There's a spot where it's not as hazy as it, the rest of it is. So I can go over and retouch that. This little area right here, I can retouch that. Any area that just doesn't look like it has been dragged across the ground, you can go, I feel like I should go back over just to make sure that it's really sanded. And you know, then when I switch to the thousand grit, all I'm really doing is just creating a smoother surface because this is just roughing it up. And then once I switch to the 800 grit, this will allow me to really smooth it all out and just really clean it up before we throw any of the primer on. Primer here. I'm gonna sand it down. It's super smooth. 
I got you guys set up over here so that you can kind of see everything. I don't have a smaller table, <laughs> so we're using this big ass table. And what I'll do is I'll either rotate the bucket around or I'll just walk around the table, whatever. I just feel is easiest for me. But what I'm gonna do is, first I'm gonna take my primer, I'm gonna go through and do like one shot, meaning I'm just gonna lay it on the primer without um, stopping or anything like that. So basically, I'm just gonna go all the way around and you know, around above the helmet, all that without stopping or you know, taking my finger off the button. Because one of the things that I saw that was most common is not doing like that. Shh, a lot of people are saying do nice, even, clean sweeps over the helmet um, or whatever you're painting, in this case, the helmet. So that's what I'm gonna focus on doing. I'm just making sure that I keep back at a nice distance. I'm gonna do, most of the time it's like six to eight inches. I'm gonna make sure that I'm back at that like 10, almost 12, not 12, but like, you know, I'm gonna make sure that I have a good amount of distance behind from me and the helmet, just to make sure that everything lays evenly. But other than that, do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. Am I just gonna do it? Yes, so, yeah. All right, so first coat laid it. It's a very, very, very light, but as you can see, there's almost like a film over it. And that is your primer, or that's what I assume is my primer. Again, not professional, we're just out here winging it. As you can see, laid it on there. It looks good, looks decent. So I'm gonna let this set for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go back and throw on another coat. So I'm gonna do three coats of primer. So I'm gonna throw on three coats, then I'm gonna let it sit for about hour and a half, two hours, close the garage door and just let it sit in here for a little bit. Then I'll come back and we'll start to do color. All right, I've let it sit for a little bit. I got all my coats of primer on there. It's not attacking with a touch or anything like that. I'm still letting it sit for a little bit longer, but as you can see, it's almost got like a haze to it now. Like it's not black like it was before. And you can see that's that's strictly, yeah, blah. That's strictly primer of what I got on here. Um, three coats all the way around. As you can see, it's more of like a gray color now than it was uh, black, but now what that means is once I let this sit for about like another 20 minutes, we'll be ready to shoot some color on it. Honestly, Coming out pretty good, got a little spot right there. Gonna clean that up once I let this set a little bit more, but everything else is looking pretty good. Actually, it's looking really good. Um, as we already know, that's the finished look. It kinda looks a little burgundy right now, brownish. I mean, that's the actual color right there, so just gotta let it set for a little bit, then I'll throw on the second coat. Um, and the second coat I'll do a little bit more, as you can see. There's spots that are a little dark and whatnot. So I'll clean that up. Um, you know, we'll just keep going. That little spot right there, gotta fill that in um, and keep going over that as well. Um, I'll probably end up doing like four coats on this and we'll come back to it. But for right now, first coat's looking pretty good. I'm gonna stop moving it so I don't drop it, <laughs> but yeah. All right, got the little heater booming. I got four solid coats on here and it is looking fucking great. There was that little spot, I cleaned that up. I was able to clean up the spot uh, where the sticker came off. I was able to clean up the spot over here where it was showing through the, uh, the black paint. But dude, it is looking good. Way better than I thought for my first time painting something. It's coming out great, honestly. Like the finish is great, it looks good, I'm loving it. Um, the only thing now that I'm gonna have to do is once this really sets and cures, then we're gonna come back and do the little design that I wanted to do on it. The only thing that I'm kind of worried about only because it's not something that I've done before. Um, I tried it on the gas can. You could, saw, you could see there's a little spot where it leaked under the tape, but that's why I was told to get this, which is edge tape, which is supposed to prevent leaking or help to prevent it. So I'm definitely gonna make sure that I lay this down and lay it down like just really mm, on the paint. I mean on the helmet and once I do that it's just gonna be two white lines and one gold line 
And once I do that, that should pretty much be it. And then I'll be able to clear coat the whole helmet. And then I'll just go from there and we'll kind of see what happens. Kind of nervous, but you know, it is what it is. If I fuck it up, then you guys will know and I'll be able to tell you guys how I fix it or if I don't. So yeah, there's that. All right, day two, back in the shop, painting the helmet. Don't know what I'm doing, but it does look good. Let me show you. You see this? Bow. Oh my God, it looks amazing. Way better than what I was thinking. Now I just gotta go in, paint these little designs on it, and we're good, baby. This looks so good. I'm so surprised with how well it's coming out, being it's my first time painting, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take this edge tape, I'm gonna tape off a good portion of the helmet, and I'm gonna tape on the design. Once I tape on the design, then it'll be time to spray, and after I spray, that's literally it. Then I'll take everything off, let it dry, and then it's time for clear coat. So, without further ado, here we go. Okay, I have the first two lines taped off. These are gonna be the two white lines, and the gold line's gonna be this last one over here. Um, the only thing that I'm kind of worried about realistically is just leaking under the tape. Now, I've sat here and really pressed this on, overspray as well, and I've gone, what some people would say is overboard with the tape, but I wanna make sure that nothing's gonna happen here. touch it you know no issues or like that now this is the scary part because now what I need to do is is I need to untape it and so I can do the gold now which is like right about here but I don't want it to peel or anything like that so I'm gonna try and do this as like careful as possible just kind of see what happens all right Let's just paint it and see what happens. One thing that I do want to point out about the Montana paint is that with the metallics and then the white, like the difference between the metallics and like just a normal like finished paint, the metallics, when you hold it at like the same distance that you hold the white at, it runs. The metallics will definitely run. So I would definitely say if you do use these paint, like these paint cans, especially the metallic ones, hold it a little further back than when you would and do like a dusting. You may have to do more coats, but the gold metallic definitely runs a lot. And so does the red one. Not as much as the gold, but the gold, you can see it, it, it runs a lot. All right, so update took the tape off and the lines are actually really 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 clean the only parts that are really like over spray ish is right here as you can see right on the edges right there slightly slightly right there hold on and then down here on this edge a little bit and this edge i cleaned it up I cleaned it up as best as I could. I'm gonna try and keep going a little bit by wet sanding it, um, but I don't wanna do too much. So, I mean, it's not killing me, but you know, I'm just trying to clean it up, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so I got all the imperfections, or most of the imperfections that I could, while wet sanding the helmet, and just really taking my time and going over the helmet. Now what I'm about to do is I'm about to clear coat the helmet. I'm gonna do about three to four clear coats, um, and just kind of see where the helmet's at after that. If I need to wet sand anything, I'll wet sand it, but if I don't, then we're good to go. I'll take the helmet off, unplast, I mean, untape the rest of the stuff, and then we'll see the finished product. But other than that, I'm just gonna kind of go for it. Now, right here, there is a bit of a lip from the paint because it's, you know, extra layers on top of other layers. Um, if I wanted to, if I want to, what I can do is I can clear coat it, and then I can go back, wet sand it, and make it all flush, but all just depends on how it looks after I do all the, uh, the clear coat um, the first go, and we'll just kind of see what happens after that. Um, and that's pretty much it, so. Yeah! What do you think? Oh yeah. 
Oh my god, it's so hot. I'm actually like pretty hyped on how this came out. Now, is the paint job perfect? No. <laughs> actually, it is not. But that's okay. It's my first job painting a helmet and like really taking it serious. So the thing is like, I would say like on an honest scale of my first job painting something like and actually like taking it serious and whatnot, I'd say it's a six out of 10. I mean, but no, I mean, honestly though, it came out really good. I'm, you know, I'm happy about it. I mean, there's no complaints here, honestly. It's exactly how I wanted it to look and all that. Came out really, really good, so I can't complain. So yeah, I really liked it. If this was something that helped you guys and inspired you, and you know, maybe you wanna go and do it, by all means, please ask me questions where I got materials and things like that. I'm not a professional. There's a video I'll actually link down below that I watched that kinda helped me get a really good idea. Um, but you know, other than that, came out pretty good. I'm happy about it and I can't wait to bring it out at my next event. But other than that, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. I enjoy every single one of you and I appreciate every single one of you guys supporting. I'm about 125 subscribers away from 3,000, so you should probably hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.